Hi, welcome to another episode of Hit and Sunk Games. I'm Ash, and today we're going to be taking a look at this little beauty, Dobble. Let's take a look at Dobble then. Um, Dobble is by this company, I believe it's pronounced um, Asimodi. Uh, you can find them on, on Twitter. Um, they've done a good job, certainly with the packaging, this tin box that's uh, you know kind of indented on the top here with this uh, this high five hand. Um, nice and colourful, you know, the yellow and purple works really well. And on the back, I like this, that there's, you know, it gives a hint as to what's inside. Five games in one. Speed, observation, reflexes. Follow one mini game with another in a wild atmosphere. Uh, for two to eight players, ages six and up, double. Let's have a look inside. So, inside you get a little leaflet here with uh, some of their other games. This is interesting actually because I, I saw this, I have this other game, um, Diablo. Uh, I'd be interested to play that, so uh, yeah, I might get my hands on that. You have this cool uh, rule book. Bit fragile, if I'm honest with you, because it's only held together by this uh, this small spine. So do be careful with it. But inside, it has a, a breakdown of all the symbols on the on the cards here, what they're called. Um, of course, you don't need to be a genius to work out that you know there's a moon, there's a sun, there's a key. Um, but yeah, it lists them out anyway. Uh, and then it goes through all the the different games you can play: mini game one, mini game two. Um, all the way through to five and you know this is the kind of game you'll understand in a second that you could create your own little games with so that's really cool um, and let me just run through the, uh, you know this is one of those games which is not going to take me long to uh, go through the rules so you have these these cards there's a there's a good good number of them and on each card is a selection of these symbols the yin and yang got a tortoise up there, purple candle, a carrot, you know, this is how I would say them, snowman. Um, and yeah, so let's take these two cards then. Um, you would think that they are all different, but there is one symbol that is matching. This one's quite obvious, and if you haven't seen it yet, it's the moon. There will always be one and only one symbol uh, that will match on every single card in this game. So if I dispose of this card and take another one, uh, there's another moon, uh, and this one, another moon. They're not all moons, I promise. Uh, here's a different one. Can anyone spot it? It's the carrot. Two carrots on this one. Uh, anyone spot that? It's the key, right next to each other. Let's change this one, mix it up a bit. Anyone see it? It's the maple leaf, the red maple leaf. Okay, now you're probably thinking, well, it sounds quite easy. What about this one? Now, this is one that I can't even see. Where is it? Damn, this is embarrassing. I can't even see the matching symbol on my own card. Where on earth? Ah, yes, the target, the target. Did you see that? I'm sure you did. Um, the great thing is that, you know, the symbols are different sizes. So, uh, you know, the moon is quite big here. And in, in another one of those cards, it was a bit smaller. And it, it's just a trick on the eye. It, it does make them, uh, it, it makes it a bit harder to find that, that matching symbol. Um, and it makes it a really interesting game to play. Uh, let me run through just uh, the, the way that, that I play it quite often. So basically, if I was in a two player game, um, what we would do is we would have a draw deck in the middle, which would be face up, okay? So you'd always see the top, uh, top symbol um, card and we would each have one of our own cards like this. Now, we would be looking at our own card, so let's say I'm here on the right and my friend's here on the left, we'd be looking at our own cards, and we would try to find the symbol that matches um, on the, the, the card on the middle, okay? So, with my uh, imaginary friend here on the left, the matching symbol is, and again, I can't even see it, the moon, of course it is, the moon. Um, let's see if it's different to mine. It's the moon again. I think that, yeah, we, we had a few of the moons on. But regardless, it doesn't matter. The first person to say the word moon um, and take this card gets that, that card. So they take this middle card here from the draw deck. They replace it over the top of their current card. And of course, by taking that card, it's revealed a new card 
So the game immediately continues. There is no pause. There is no rest. As soon as uh, one player takes that card and reveals the other, it's game on for everyone. So if you're playing in large groups, you've got to be quick. Um, so stop sign matches it. So I would shout stop sign. I would take another. Um, and again, we would keep going. Um, it's a fast and frantic game. People would be shouting out things like yin and yang. Uh, purple Candle, uh, Little Purple Man, uh, Key, and they would be taking all these cards as they go along, revealing a new set of symbols um, each time, different sizes, you know, different locations on here, some would be upside down, and like I say, it plays tricks on the brain. It's not as easy to find the matching uh, one symbol um, as you think it would be. And of course, you get to the bottom of the draw deck, you count up how many cards you have, and the one with the most amount of cards wins. That is the version of the game that I play the most. Um, the other version, which I really like as well, is you actually take the deck, you give it a shuffle, and you actually draw, um, deal out the cards to however many players there are. So again, we'll pretend that there are two players. You draw them out, and you basically draw them all to the two players apart from one, which you slap face up in the middle of the table and each player holds their deck face upwards and again it's the same principle you have to so player one on the left and me on the right we have to look at the sim uh, the card in the middle looking for that matching symbol so if I see it uh, it's the purple hand you see good example of how it's a different size imagine if that was upside down like that probably be a bit difficult uh, to see but I would shout out purple hand and instead of taking the uh, the card from this uh, you know the center of the table I would actually put this card on top of it so the way this game works is it's the first uh, player to get rid of all their cards you know shouting out the names of the symbols and as I say again if you are playing with you know more than two people uh, you know group of six group of eight people are shouting things left right and center um, but at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's the first person to put their card down. At least that's how I play it. So yeah, nice, uh, you know, nice looking cards, symbols, dolphin, igloo, snowman. There's definitely a good selection on there. And, you know, it is a really simple game to play. You can probably tell that I'm quite keen on this game. But let me run through exactly what I think about Double and why. So they say good things come in small packages, and they're absolutely right, certainly regarding this game anyway. Um, I bought Dobble uh, a fortnight ago, probably, and I've probably played it every single day since then. This game is such a simple premise. It's kind of like, I don't know, advanced snap in a way, but it's just the simple, simplest games, the simplest ideas that are sometimes the best. Um, I think this is a really fun game. I remember when I first uh, opened it and looked inside, I really like these cards. Uh, the quality is good, uh, the images are really cool, and uh, yeah, it's just such a simple idea, but it really, really works. I've played this with friends at parties. I've played this uh, with my girlfriend and her family. It works in any situation. I've even taken it to work and played it with my work colleagues in my lunch break, which has been fantastic for, for team bonding, strangely enough. Um, but you know what, this is a game for all environments. Best thing is, it's small. It can fit in your, in your jean pocket or your coat pocket. I've taken this to the pub before. Um, it's fantastic. And uh, yeah, I think the, the cool thing and what's really funny is, you know, you have these symbols here. Uh, some, as I've said, uh, larger and smaller than others. Uh, but the same symbol and it's just amazing how your brain sometimes does not pick up that uh, symbol. I know it, it sounds uh, silly but uh, you know I've had people say to me there isn't you know there isn't an anchor on these two, there isn't an anchor or uh, there isn't uh, the scissors there, or there isn't the heart, it's not there, it's not there and of course when we, we've checked you know it is. Um, it's really funny to play really a great group game. I think playing this with just two people, it, it, you know, it, it, that is probably the, the flaw in this game. It's not as fun, but get a group together. 
I've played this with eight people, four people, um, you know, six people. That's when the fun begins. I would love to pl play this game in like a group of 12 people all huddled around on this table. Um, so yeah, I think this is a fantastic game. I'm so glad that I bought this. This is coming on holiday with me in a couple of weeks so that me and my girlfriend can play this while we're sipping pina coladas on the beach. I highly recommend this. You can pick this up for a tenner as well, which makes it all the better.